Love, Chad. What is this about? An intense feeling of deep affection. That butterfly feeling in your stomach when your crush walks by. The, the third most dating important apps. thing on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We all aspire to be in love one day. I mean, Yo, Chad, I heard the statistic. Majority of people nowadays find a partner on dating apps. We are cooked as a society. Love makes it's done for around. us. Love brought you here. Love brought me <laughs> here. And it also brought every single human being on this earth here. That shows how important love truly is. And right, what is one right, way to right, find right. love in the beautiful year of 2024? Dating apps. We've all been on a dating app, right? Or am I just exposing myself? That's the thing with them, like... I know when they first started out, it was probably wholesome, right? <laughs> they would just go on there and find love. But I, I can just imagine now it's just evolved into a cesspool of just fucking hoes in despair. Like, <laughs> myself for being down bad. I, know, no, I feel like bro. everyone in their life has like an arc where they're on dating apps like crazy. I'm not going to lie. My arc actually came pretty early because, I mean, I'm 20 years old. I dropped out of college. I don't go to parties. I go to the gym and I make videos. How else am I going to find women? I mean, I could try raising up where? women at the gym, but I mean, I'm not trying to be Joey Swole's next <laughs> victim. So that's already out of the <laughs> I love Joey <laughs> Mind your business, 2024. Window. So what do I result to? The wonderful world of online dating. It's amazing. It's glorious. It's garbage. Now, for those of you that have never been on a dating app before, I feel well, like I can I just imagine just like, I like you. I don't like you. No, 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 no. That instant access. It's like fucking TikTok, bro. It's giving us brain rot. Oh, my God. I gotta explain it's to you guys the big ride. three. You know how people always say there's a big three for anime? Well, it's the exact same thing for dating apps. And that big three is Tinder, Hinge, and Bumble. Tinder is the generic dating app with the whole swipe right and swipe left system. Right for like, left for dislike. If two people swipe right on each right. other, boom, it's a match. After you match, you can text that person back and forth. And yeah, that's but pretty much just it. Imagine it's pretty simple. But like, it's creating a society like as soon as something gets hard in a relationship, I'm done. I'll just find someone else on fucking Tinder. Whatever. I'm done with this. It's like, no, it's not what it's not what we try and do here. We're trying to build. But, but if I'm being honest, nobody is on Tinder looking right. for a relationship. Everyone is just on Tinder looking to smash. And no, I'm not talking about Hulk smash. I'm talking about Exactly. Then you got Hinge, which is basically the dating app that gives the ugly dudes a shot. I say it gives the ugly dudes a shot because with Hinge, it has a completely different system compared to Tinder. Instead of just mindlessly swiping left and right, you have to like a picture or a prompt on somebody's profile. And with that, you can attach a little message to it. And if that person likes a message or likes how you look, then that person right. can choose oh, to so match can, up with you. So you if you're not gifted with the looks of ASAP Rocky <laughs> or Michael B. Jordan, then you still Glaze? have a shot because you can kind of show off Glaze. your personality. And then you got Bumble, which, in my opinion, is honestly the worst out of the three. It's basically the the same thing as tinder it's got the whole swipe left and swipe right system but here's the twist you know how in society usually the man makes the first move when he's pursuing a woman well on right. bumble it's a complete opposite the women are supposed to make the first move men and women can both swipe left and swipe right on each other but if they match only the women can text first it's pretty stupid if i'm being honest with you on okay. paper it sounds like a great idea you know i see online a lot of people saying like if women shot their shot more wait gonna... that doesn't even i'm just imagining because like in a normal app, a dude could be creepy to a woman, right? But all he would have to do is wait <laughs> to be creepy. <laughs> she texts something, and he says something. Boom, dick pic. Like, it's <laughs> more relationships out in the world, which I, I do believe to an extent. But at the same time, I do think it's kind of stupid for an app to only let women shoot their shot first. Because, right. I mean, at the end of the day, if I was a woman, I would go nowhere near Bumble. Now that I'm and I say that it, because it just sounds like extra work. Like, why? Think about it. These dating apps are a business. They get money by people that don't get in relationships. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you find a relationship instantly and leave, they lose money. They're preying on you. They're preying on you being down bad. <laughs> download an app where I got to make the first move I and put it in it that out. extra step when I can just download Tinder or Hinge and just have men flock to me. It's like asking somebody if they'd rather get $1 million for free or $1 million, but they actually have to put the work in. Obviously, everybody's going to pick that $1 million for free. But yeah, those three apps are pretty much $1 the main dollars dating with apps. Jay -Z. Anything else, I've honestly never used because be real with me. Who is out here using FarmersOnly.com? One thing that all these apps have in common, though, is that they all have these premium subscriptions, which offer... Oh. Whoa. You pay.
paying for pussy now. Okay, bro. <laughs> I see, I told you. That's a lot of fucking money. For what? For things like more swipes, more information like who liked your profile, and boosts so more people can see your profile. Boost. But if we're being honest here, this is just a dating app's way of capitalizing on lonely men. And the reason I say lonely men right. is because on dating apps, most men get less matches than women because there's so many men on these apps. There's actually studies that show that Tinder is 75% men, Hinge is 64% men, and Bumble is 76%. Bro, it's an epidemic. What the fuck? men so what's one way to help with this overflow oh of men God, buying their dick. premium subscription and what's even crazier is the pricing on these plans crazy and then there's tinder select which is tinder for five hundred dollars ain't no way you paid for five hundred dollars she better get flown out there's per planet. month. Now I gotta state this right here. There's Tinder no Select way. isn't open to the public. You have to actually sign up for this. Only less than one percent of Tinder users actually have Tinder Select, so it's not really that important. I wouldn't it's be surprised. Rare, if but regardless, it like is Tinder for creating a society where it's just the normal to get a relationship, break up, get back on the app. <laughs> like, what if they're just specifically giving you people that you won't like five hundred dollars a month like we're not gonna sit here and Wait, act like that's fucked. completely we normal for five hundred dollars i better have a shot with tiana trump margot robbie ruby rose and any other baddie on this earth five hundred dollars is literally the price of a ps5 the saddest part about tinder select though is that the people who actually buy this are most likely still going to get the same results that they exactly. did prior to having tinder select exactly like let's say you get like what how many likes do you get with no for free if you divvy it out and you get no one back like what the fuck is unlimited swipes going to do man? but let's know. be real some people honestly just deserve to learn the hard way if you spend five hundred dollars on a dating app i mean you deserve to have that post transaction clarity yes. also one year of tinder select would be six thousand dollars which is absolutely crazy to me if you're spending six thousand dollars for a dating app number one seek help number two Please. find god number three you're probably ugly if i'm being real with you Damn. but you want to know a crazier Damn, fact it's crazy like, I know a lot of people, they either work for home, they don't go to school anymore, so it's like, where do you go? And they don't have the social skills to go outside. 14% of Tinder's users oh, are gang work users, it, and that's out of 75 million people. And 14% of 75 million is 10.5 million. So that means that 10.5 million people are paying users on Tinder. But if I'm being honest, I'm not really as surprised. I mean, right now we are going through a loneliness be pandemic. Studies actually show that one in four adults feel lonely in the world right now. And also we are living in a time where a lot of people aren't really as wise with their money. I mean, you got people out here buying OnlyFans subscriptions. You got people out here who are spending tons of money on in-game purchases like battle passes and in-game everybody which i'm not gonna lie i am pretty guilty of and you also got people out here spending tons of money on doordash and fast food each and every day so all that being said what is 10 to 20 dollars nowadays people blow that We're like it's nothing ourselves. so why not spend 10 We're to 20 dollars and possibly soul. get a relationship out of it it sounds reasonable <laughs> right and that's exactly how dating apps get you at the end of the day dating apps are a business and the goal of a business is to make money if the goal of a dating app was to help each and saying, every brother. user find their significant other so they could live happily ever after in life then that dating app would go out of business because that app would make no money at all so what are dating exactly. apps doing selling a solution to the lonely society and if you're that lonely man that's i'll take it a step further they're creating the problem too it shouldn't just the ease of access as soon as something gets hard I'm moving on to the next person. Fuck they you. Be dropped Fuck out of you. college, only goes to work and in that the gym, goes on and you're not really around that many women, right. then you're their exact target because you have two things, money and loneliness. But what's even worse is the, the algorithm of these dating apps. Tinder actually used mindset. to use this ELO system, which is basically a ranking system that's used in chess <laughs> and video <laughs> Tell me you copper... Yeah, fuck. Tell me I say used to it in quotes Tinder. because Tinder said they took it out, but let's be real. That's just a PR business cover up. We all know that they're still using it till this day. And how it works is they would rank you based on your attractiveness slash how many people would swipe right on you. So pretty much if a ton of people swipe right What's on you, that ELO means that you're Tinder. in high ELO and Tinder values you a lot. And if you're a person who a bunch of people swipe left on and they just skip you, basically that yeah. means that you're in low ELO and you're Risk ugly. But if that high ELO person likes somebody's profile who's low ELO, that low ELO person <laughs> 
Yeah, the score goes Brown's up. It. So if that high elo person has terrible taste in men or women, it's a field day for the ugly human beings of the earth. But what's one way to have more high elo people on your feed and have your profile pushed out to more people in general? Paying for their premium plans. It's actually pretty sad because exactly. it all just boils down to dating apps wanting more money. At the end of the day, yeah. love is priceless. You can't just pay your way to love. Just have fun, go outside, live your life, and eventually you'll find your significant other. I feel like too many people nowadays try to force slash rush the process That's of true. things. And one of those things will find them, but you still have to go up and talk to them. A lot of dudes just being scared. relationship slash know, love now with this video do i expect every single person that watches it to delete every single dating app on their phone no because that's not my intent i mean if you use tinder or any other dating app for free i honestly don't care like if that's what you find fun that's what you find fun but i guess my whole point of this video is that do not spend your money on dating apps Please you work don't. hard for your money and if you're Please. young, twenty dollars is like one to two hours of work. And if you're old, that's like less than an hour of work. But regardless, do you really want your twenty dollars to go to a slimy dating app? Let's be real here. But yeah, with all that being said, yeah, this is gonna wrap this. up the video. If you guys made it this far, I appreciate you. If you guys yeah, enjoyed ahead, this like video, video then guys. I highly recommend like you guys check out my. I'm just gonna say we are. As a society, we are cooked. TikTok, cooked. Tinder, cooked. Like. I knew it was bad when the number one job kids went is to be a YouTuber. We are cooked. This next generation, we're done for. <laughs> the end of America or the world's here. It's here. <laughs> All right, bros. Like this video. Subscribe and shit. You know what I'm saying?